Diana, there are a lot of people right now accusing you of being behind the bots that went after Garcelle's 14-year-old. I'm curious, Garcelle, what's going through your mind? Was there a point where you thought she was behind it? Yeah, I did. If I'm going to be honest, I did think she was behind it. Absolutely. You think I would, I would send the, that to Jack? I did. I mean, you obviously have a very low opinion of me that if you think that I would be behind bullying a 14-year-old? Yeah. Yeah, I did. If I'm going to be honest, I did think she was behind it. Absolutely. I don't know how evil I must appear that you would even consider the fact that I would do that to Jax. Diana also sent so, me... So, I'm, I'm, I'm have... talking. Can I finish, please? Um, she also sent me a threatening text. What was the text, Diana? I've asked her to take the... to pencil the name when we were getting death threats. First of all, Jax was at his dad's house when he got the very last text. That was horrific. And in the post, it said about the knee on the neck, it mentioned leave Diana alone. He wrote on the text, you've gone too far, and posted that. He's a 14-year-old kid. He gets this horrendous message. He's not thinking, let me take out Diana's name so she's not implicated. He put it out there because he was fearful he had enough. So Diana thinks that we should have taken her name out. No, I said pencil, protect our families. Protect our but families Diana, because we're I'm getting saying, death threats. When Jax received that, he wasn't thinking about protecting anybody but himself. I think she's saying, could you have it deleted it, pencil it out, and then he could have reposted it, maybe. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, pencil. Are you kidding me? You I'm, want me? I no, don't wait know. a minute, wait a minute. No, I'm, so you want, in the middle of me. me trying to protect my child, I have to then come and save all you? You don't need to save me. To this is outrageous. Everybody had picked it up. Right. So now I have to come and save that. you? No, when I'm dealing with my right. son, I'm saying maybe that's what she like, meant. That's outrageous to me. I do understand, sweetheart, but what I'm telling you is that we got death threats. In my country, when they issue threats, those, those are actual threats. Well, your and threat was an actual threat to me as well. What was the threatening message? It was pretty much, if anything happens to my family, I'm coming for you. But how? Was it, what is, was it illegally? Or physically? I said if something happens to my a kids... A threat is a threat. Are we going to dissect a threat? A threat is a threat. threat. No, Garcelle You've done nothing but not harass me on social I media. I have a murder in my family. My family has been murdered. Murder is murder. And when somebody tells you they're going to stab your son or a daughter with a knife, that's a threat. I understand that. And it's not a cease and exist. It's a very different when my lawyer calls you. It's different when somebody takes the gun and points it at you. So I'm sorry. They're different type of threats. I'm not talking to her anymore. Okay, well, uh, it's like, you know no, what? But I'm asking I, I you. I will help you protect your child. I have a means to hire lawyers. We're going to find out. Who actually did this? Absolutely. I have an investigation as well. If Diana was here today, what, what would be the number one thing that you would want to say to her? I would want to say to Diana, why is she so obsessed with me? That's what I'd like to know. Because we're gorgeous. What, uh, you don't mean it that way? No, I don't. You mean it how? She is targeting me on social media almost every day, sometimes twice a day. I don't want you harassing me on social media. I haven't harassed anyone here on social media. But what are you saying? What are you what saying? I'm saying? She's I saying you've been going after her online. Constantly, constantly. Please, leave me alone. Leave me alone. I don't hate you, Diana. I just want to be left alone.